Hey guys, welcome to Tech Trick Tutorials. And in today's video, I'm going to make ChatGPT generate images. So, how do you actually do this? So, generating images directly with a text based AI, ChatGPT is not a typical capability of such models. As my last, the uh, last update of the ChatGPT, you know, it's about 2002. So, Here's a uh, guideline of how to actually do this. So first and foremost, the tips is absolutely understanding image generation models. AI models that generate images are trained on large you know, data sets of images to learn patterns and you know, features. You know, the main type of models used include generative you know, adversarial networks or GA, the uh, GANs. If you know what GANS is, so it consists of two you know, neural networks, a generator and a discriminator. So the generator creates images from the random noise, and the discriminator tries to distinguish between the real images from the date, you know, data set and fake images generated by the generator. So through adversarial training and generator, the uh, generator improves its ability to create realistic images this is why this is one of the explanation why um the ai back then is not as much of you know developed as it is right now so it is actually a, a trained process so data set preparation you know curating a large data set of images that presets the types of images you basically want to you know, generate off of the model with some model training using chosen architecture or GAN or VAE. The model is, you know, trained to the data set. This involves, you know, just basically adjusting the, the model's weight based on its, you know, performance in generating images. Resemble the uh, real thing, basically. Moving on to the actual phase itself which is the generating of the images once trained the model can generate images in several ways so random sampling is probably the beta mode so the model can generate images by sampling random points in the you know latent space so random noises vectors and decoding into decoded all into Im images basically okay so the second thing is the conditional generation some models of AI can generate images conditioned on specific inputs such as text descriptions hence what I'm doing right now it's the uh, text descriptions and um, for example generating images of a red apple is based on a textual description okay so the next one here is absolutely the uh, the limitations of AI so a lot of people say that AI doesn't have limitations but it does it's evolving but it's not at its currently not at the peak yet if you know what I'm saying so the challenges and limitations is quality generated images may not always be photorealistic or may suffer from artifacts you know depending on the complexity of the data set model basically and the uh, data bias data set bias model strain and bias data set may produce biased and unrealistic images so heads up for that one compute requirements so training and generating images using these models can require significant computational resources including powerful GPUs basically so I don't know about you but no there's definitely applications to this but there's limitations okay so the applications are really good but um most importantly is the uh, creative design automated content creation for marketing materials artworks or game development so it's really crucial to be on par 
and to learn all of these things. So I certainly hope that this video is of any help for you guys. Thank you so much for watching Tech Trick Tutorials. And uh, you guys, you guys have a nice day.